Wow, that was really spooky. Yeah, Denton, I peed myself a little bit. Indeed. Welcome to Drive, a show produced by the students at Cary High here at Shaw TV. So coming up, we're going to have a couple clips, but also we're going to have a couple segments with me and Denton here, this beautiful young man. First off, we're going to start with bottle flipping, a lovely activity a lot of youngins enjoy doing nowadays. In fact, he's going to give you a little demonstration here. Now, you might have seen this on the Instagram or the YouTubes or the Facebook. Uh, Tumblr, yeah. Twitter. Our brains are so fried, we enjoy fi flipping bottles. But what's in the bottle? Water. H2O. Familiar? Is it? Do we know it? No, we don't. 100% of criminals drink water. That's scary. It scares me. Makes me want to cry, but I don't want to cry, because then I'll cry water. I don't want that. Did you know that water is the main ingredient in pesticides and herbicides that kill us every day? Water's deadly, even when it's not in your food. Speaking of water, I'm full of water right now. Could go to the bathroom. your pencil. What? You left it in class. Oh, you can keep it. You know what? Haha, ha, that was good. Excellent. <laughs> Nothing lightens my spirit more than fear. True that, Denton. True that. Especially in the hearts of young children. Speaking of fear, there's nothing more that I'm afraid of than the imminent legalization of marijuana. In the words of our greatest PM to ever hold office, Stephen Harper, weed is infinitely more worse than tobacco.
A little change of pace here that really warmed my heart. I wish someone read to me, or was even there for me as a child. <laughs> You're funny, Denton. Keep dreaming. <sighs> Moral of the story is, reading is for suckers, so get someone else to do it for you. And also don't have children at the crisp age of 18, because there's a good chance that you won't be a good parental figure. We're not talking about your personal life here, Denton. Did you even watch the video? I have childhood issues that need to be dealt with. Denton, no one cares. No one cares, Denton, okay? Get some friends, go to therapy. Nobody cares. <sighs> anyway, so we can settle down, we're gonna take a little advertisement break about some shoes, that of which I cannot afford, but otherwise, nice shoes. What a golden commercial. Really great. Yeah. But crying? Who cries? Personally, myself, I don't cry. Only on camera. And when we're alone, he cries. Denton, you said you weren't going to tell people. I've had it with your crying. Denton. I've had it with your problems. I'm your only friend. And we're not even friends. Because I told you I liked you doesn't mean we need to be mean about it. I think that's all for today. Yep. Hello and welcome to Drive, a show run by the spooky creatures of Cary High and filmed in the haunted studio of Shaw. Oh, I, I mean haunted. <laughs> Joining me beside me is my co-host Aiden. Aiden, how are you? To tell you the truth, I've seen better days. Aiden, I gotta ask. Now, I know what I'm dressed up as, as the guy from Predator, right? But I gotta ask, what type of costume are you wearing? What do you mean, costume? Oh, oh well, I, like, I, I didn't mean it, like, costume, I, like, I, I meant, like, Aiden, come on. Well, don't worry. We'll be carpooling, so we'll work it out later. Now for our next clip, which is called The Motivation Guy. Do you have self-control issues? Do you find yourself moping around the hallways? Is it hard to live life? Are you always searching for a purpose in life? Yeah? Then you need the motivation guy. He's smart, he's handsome, and he's always there when you need him.
order now as this very second as I'm saying these very words will not only deliver the motivational guy but install him for 5.99.99.99. Wow. Glossing over very important things speaking really fast order now. Motivational guy may cause severe damage to the brain, trauma and trauma to your soul. So, so I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, and it wasn't right. right. We, we cool? I understand. That clip really motivated me. I really want to know who that guy is. I have a feeling he's not too far away. Well, for our next clip, it's going to be about three young boys who are stuck inside a video game.
Ah, uh, that brings back the memories. I hear you, Aiden. It's not, reminds me, not too long ago, when I was a young buck private in that boiler room. He was only down there for like five minutes. It was unimpressive. But that's pretty much it for the show. But we do have our special guest star, Mr. Shields. Mr. Shields, thank you for joining us. Oh, it's great to be here. It's great to have you. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, as you're aware, this week is Halloween, and we had set it up a couple of uh, questions for you in our festival Halloween order. Now, me and Aiden have been dying to know, what type of fears does a teacher have, or what type of fears did you go up growing up during your childhood? Oh my, uh, you know, the, the first fear I really remember having was being afraid of ventriloquist dummies. <laughs> I, I really don't know why, but the thought of someone talking through some kind of puppet on their hand <laughs> was really scary. And this was the pre-Chucky days. You know, they didn't even make movies about it yet, but I was afraid of it before it happened. I think ventriloquist is just a weird art on its own. It, it's just very strange being able to talk out of oh, pretty body. It's just, uh, it's just strange to me. It frightens me to death. Did you see the one where he does, he sits on his uh, lap and he drinks the water while he makes him talk? It, it scared me to death. I, I couldn't even go to magic shows and things as a kid. I just <laughs> ran away screaming. So you were deprived of his childhood, you I, could I, say. <laughs> that's exactly. It, it, that fear took away my youth. It's true. That's our show for this week. We'd like to thank the producers at Shaw and the crew as well. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>